there are the notable injuries that the Yankees are dealing with. And Bob, this is sobering news for the Yankees. This is a guy who was a mainstay for them last year, played 149 games as a rookie, finished second in the Rookie of the Year voting, an aggressive hitter, a guy who had 47 doubles in the middle of your order, and now you know you're losing him for an extended period. We don't know how long, as you said, a couple of week evaluation, and then they see where they go from there. But suddenly, DJ LeMahieu, come on down. You're not a you're not a reserve anymore. Not that he ever was. Right. You're you're going to be playing every day. Yeah, but you know it ch it changes some things, puts it in flux because the idea was maybe you give Tulowitzki a little more time off, Torres at short, LeMahieu at second. Maybe you could still do that, put Tyler Wade at third, or put Wade at second. But again, it's just. Like last year with all the injuries, Boone having to move all those shells around. You no, know? it becomes a depth issue again, and I think the quick way of looking at it is LeMahieu becomes Andujar, Wade becomes LeMahieu. That's exactly what's going to happen. They're still going to have to give Tulowitzki some days off. I think, though, Torres and LeMahieu, they become your Ironmen, your durable guys. I mean, they're going to play every day, pretty much. You'll probably spot them. They'll want to give them day off here or there, but to lose Andujar... After three games into this season, that's really difficult for the Yankees. Also, just, just a guy with a lot of fire, a, a guy with a lot of energy in that lineup, and now to have this happen on a slide back to third base, that, that's difficult for the Yankees.